everyone. It's Monday. And that means it's time for heraldry with Dame Arwen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's heraldic Monday as usual. So, <laughs> so we're going to talk about um, lions and roses today. So lions, um, I, um, well, my persona is pre-English because, uh, you know, Normans, you know, kind of took over the island eventually. Um, but can I use a lion on my device even if I'm not English? Well, lions are a heraldic church, period. And so as long as you have a name that can be associated with your heraldry, which is one of the things you need to have. Lions can be used by anybody. But wait a minute. What if you're not from Montier? What if you've only ever been part of the kingdom of Avacal? Or Aldemir? Or Trimeris? Or Lakak? Or Drakenvall? They don't have lions on their device. So can I use a lion? Of course you can. Anybody can use a lion, but you got to be careful. Lions, depending on how you draw them, can look like cats. So that's the problem is, is, is that cats and lions are considered to be the same thing. So it's not that you can't use a lion. It's that lions and cats are similar, just like dogs and wolves are considered to be similar. So we have some problems with what we can register versus what people have historically registered within the SEA. That doesn't mean that lions are only registered for people with an Ontario or any or any other kingdom or barony that has lions on their device. You can use a lion. It's got nothing to do with it. Now, the three lions that's associated with the Queen of England, aka Queen Elizabeth, that's registered to the Queen. So having three lions, yeah, that's hers. That That's definitely hers. Oh, see, I, I have that flag in, in my house with the three lions because it is also because that's the flag of the uh, province of Normandy in France. Right. They, they still have that one. It's still in use. It's not some right. old ancient symbol. No, but, that, but, but. And that goes back to the you can't use national flags or provincial flags as, <laughs> as your device. <laughs> Absolutely. It goes back to that. So as long as we're not using the three lions of the Queen of England, have fun with playing with lions. Okay. So um, I'm going to ask sort of a personal question here because I think I have, might have to change my device because my device is a raven uh, and a rose, but I've never been queen. So can I still use the rose on my device? Well, there's two things that you need to watch about roses. The first thing is called the Tudor rose. So a Tudor rose is a red rose with white parts in it in the center that comes out. And that's associated with the, the royal family of England. Very specific. Okay, you do have a red rose on your device, but you don't have a wreath of roses. You don't have a you don't have a circle of roses that are all linked together with the roses. That is what's registered and reserved. Sorry, what is reserved for our members of the Order of the Rose, which are people who sit as concert consort to the sovereign. So normally it's the queen of the king but depending on whether we have non-gendered or we don't. So using the non-gendered words for it, the consort who is sitting the throne along with the sovereign, who is the person who won the crown tournament, if they successfully complete their reign, they're allowed to put a wreath of roses on their device, which is a circle of roses. 
There's a special heraldry name for it. It's called a caplet of roses. It still means the same thing. It's a, it's basically a circle of roses all the way around. And it doesn't have to be red roses. It can be purple roses. It can be green roses. It can be black roses, but it's the circle of roses. Very much like the circle or the annual or the continuous circle of the chain of the knights. Very similarly, because it's that higher level. It's someone who sat the throne with the person who won the crown tournament. So that continuous no end is what needs to happen. You have one rose, two rows, three roses, multiple roses, different color roses, you're fine. I had a young lady who decided that she would register a green rose that was so reverse to what you would normally do, which is a red rose with green leaves and everything else. She did a green rose with red leaves. And everybody says, you can't do that. And I had to explain that the only thing that is registered and what or what is reserved for the people of the, the order of the rose is that continuous annulet or continuous circle of roses. Having one single rose, I'd say go for it. Now, co barring conflict, but you know, heraldically, does okay. that? So that's not a, not a, the rose in and of itself is not a reason to uh, fail it. No. So, so you'd mentioned colors of roses. So can I you make my rose say a black rose or is that prohibited because that's deemed to be a symbol of evil and death? Well, black is just a heraldic color. Lots of things were considered. I mean, I passed a purple penguin. Penguins aren't purple, but I thought it would be cool to have a purple penguin. So now I have a purple penguin passed. It's just a matter of describing the color. So a black rose or you know, white rose or a red rose or a yellow rose or a green rose. It's whatever, as long as the color is a heraldic color, we don't care. I had a friend who registered a black trillium. So trilliums in Ontario are white, maybe pink. There are pink ones, um, but in general, they're mostly white. And everybody says, so a trillium has to be white. No, it can be whatever heraldic color you wish it to be. So he registered a black trillium. So there's nothing really sinister or bad about coloring something black if that's what you want. So is there something dexter about a black rose if there's nothing sinister? No, no, no there's it's not nothing dexter either. Oh, all right. <laughs> we can we can try there, but no. Um, in general, if you like the color and it's a heraldic color, then then choose to color the thing that you want. It just won't be proper. So a trillium proper would be white, whereas a trillium black a black trillium would be a trillium sable. Just like a purple penguin is different than a penguin proper, which would be a penguin that looks like a normal penguin, which is white with black. And he looks like, you know, someone in a tuxedo suit, you know, my purple penguin is purple. It just means that we draw him and we color him purple instead. That's all. So roses, you can do whatever color you want. Just don't make them in wreaths so that they don't, you know, so that you're not presumptuous to those members of the order of the rose those members who have sat the throne of a kingdom as a consort. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you for clearing those things up. I appreciate your time uh, this evening and uh, we'll uh, catch you next week. Sounds awesome. Mm -hmm.